Alright, we are here yet again for a video on Safari. Now I did this type of video in the past, so on Windows 7, now I'm going to do it on Windows 8. Main reason is I haven't used Safari on Windows 8 before. This is an older version of Safari, so odds are it is out of support and <laughs> it is likely uh, to give you bugs. No, just kidding. But anyways, I'm going to double click on Safari. So what you'll be greeted with is the Apple Start page. This can be changed if you go over here to uh, Preferences. You can actually change that if you want Google or whatever uh, your home page of choices. Um, I'm going to keep it on the Apple Start page uh, just for the heck of it because, oh look, 17 hours, 20 minutes, and uh, 7, 6 seconds of, until the special live event uh, of uh, something or another from Apple. I don't know what it was. But anyways, there we go. Um, using Apple Safari and it brings me up to the countdown page for the new live event that they're going to be having tomorrow. Um, anyways, we're going to open up new tab. We're going to open... What are we going to open? We're just going to open up YouTube. I'm not going to open up Facebook. <laughs> now, the thing about this is if you're using a screen recording video Thing like I am, um, odds are you're going to get uh, web pages loading really slow. So it is taking up a little bit of the resources. So while we wait for that, never really took this long in the Windows 7 one I did, but hey, I'm running this on older hardware and an older computer. So uh, odds are it's going to have to catch up, so we're just waiting for that. It is done loading, but the thumbnails have to catch up. So, yeah. So, as you can tell, I can't scroll because Flash is having a fit. So, alright. So, there's YouTube. Uh, this review is not that great because this is not a um, plausible review yet <laughs> all right so anyways we got we got the thumbnails loaded now so there we go and that's YouTube in a nutshell on um, in Safari now, granted, it will be faster if I wasn't doing screen recording. Um, and Safari is not the fastest thing in the world. So, uh, when the Apple made it, it was only meant for Macs and not Windows. But they made a Windows version of it instead. So, um, this is kind of the result of that. But it's, uh, but it's okay. I mean, as... Um, as just a normal everyday usage browser if you choose to use it um, just such as how I'm using it so to change different settings and preferences you just go into your preferences it's just laid out the same way as it is on a Mac um, you have your preferences you can change you know the font if you want to you could do set the Windows standard since this is a Windows version um, bookmarks you can set to whatever bookmarks you want tabs you can have whatever tabs you want open you can even have the R you can view the RSS feed um, autofill so security enable JavaScript enable Java enable plugins etc pretty much like a normal 
Windows web browser. Um, remove all website data. You can remove all cookies if you want to. Um, and extensions, I already got Adblock Plus, or just standard Adblock on there. And it's also available for Chrome. Um, and advanced, you can do advanced settings. I only have default space for database storage, which is five megabytes, not too big. Uh, we don't want to fill up the hard drive. Um, and this is just your just your standard general settings, pretty much the same as it is on a Mac. You know, it's pretty decent. So, anyways. You do bug reports, which that don't work anymore since this is an outdated web browser. Um, Safari extensions, what that will do when you click on it, it will open up a separate window to see what kind of extensions that it has. So you can do DuckDuckGo for Safari. You can also do Facebook Photo Zoom, click the flash, um, awesome screenshot. You can do quite a few good things. Facebook Cleaner, uh, pretty much how how it is across the board with uh, Google and all that stuff. So pretty pretty cool. Uh, Firebug Light for Safari, and a lot of these extensions still work in uh, the older Safari. So. If you are wondering, yeah, it all works <laughs> still. So you get to have popular categories, security, do 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 do. You you do you know basically anything you want, and then that's just pretty much that with uh, Safari. But you know my last. Should I say my last um, review of it was, I think, a long time ago, back in um, 2012, I believe it was, of Safari when I was running it on Windows 7. And uh, two years, or basically, yeah, two years later, I installed it again and you know, giving it a run for uh, Windows 8. So, anyways, guys, that is it for this video. The version of Safari that I am running, the last version of Safari for Windows, which is no longer in support, is 5.17, which is actually for uh, Mac OS Leopard, Snow Leopard, and I think that's about it. But it's 2007 to 2012. Uh, it's an old browser, but hey, it's still alive and kicking, even though it doesn't have any... Whoa, I clicked on a video. Whoops. <laughs> it's an older web browser, but at least it works okay. And, you know, it's still going to be a browser that people go to for Windows. And if they don't want to use Internet Explorer, hey, just use Safari. So anyways... That is it for this video. Peace out, practice and enjoy, and we'll see you guys later.